It's your vibration for um, the um, Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the month of the Earth energies, the world, and we have the zodiac energies from the um, water and fire. The two last week in this month, um, the first week, uh, the second week, and the two last week in this month is going to be very positive for you guys your energy that you have is the nine of swords no more worries you have no more worries your worries you're leaving your worries behind there is no more worries this month of November you are going to leave your worries behind and this is good as we look at your month it is a positive month because you have the Empress and the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune is going to bring you a lot of materialistic things in your life wheel of fortune is a very good then we have the energy of the ten of cups the ten of cups we have the energy of the ten of cups which is good um, if there is a legal situation um, it is going to turn out in your favor and then we have the chariot victory and success in the for week the third week and the crowning of your month is the tower which is good because there's an end in coming to a situation so if you Sagittarius have had a sort of a situation that is going on has been going on for a while there is an ending that is the crowning of the month that whatever the situation was and is there is a tower a cleansing that comes in in the fourth week the energy of the chariot is victory and success and you'll be moving away from whatever that situation is and the last week you have the Sun of the Pentacles and this is good because message about money will be coming in to you so let's see what I had other messages or here good news is coming um, um, whatever the energy is this transformation because you have win whatever um, um, the energy of the snake jealousy at your work okay so let's look and see the first week we have the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune comes with the energy of the Empress this is good because whatever that was happening that was blocking um, your uh, luck is um, the negative energy is that was blocking your luck has come to an end because this cross meaning that all the crosses that you have been bearing is now to an end and uh, you're going to start to see your world coming out and this is going to be extremely positive okay then um, you are going to understand that wonderful situations are about to enter your life in the second week if you we're going to legalities and that sort of a thing you have the energy of the ten of cups so that is now in balance so let's say that things that was unjust to you years and years ago and uh, uh, with family or friends this is going to come now and it's going to be in balance good news is coming to you so whatever the situation is and was uh, that was so unjust and so imbalanced uh, around you around your family life uh, this is now going to be coming um, good and good news is about you're about to receive a good news uh, the family will be back together okay and that is wonderful I'm seeing a lot of people connecting reconnecting with people who they have lost out of their lives so in the second week justice is going to come in and return to you say it was a child that has taken away from you illegally or that sort of a thing um, it's going to be returned to you and a balance is going to come in and healing this is positive good news is on its way as we look forward the crowning of your week is a very good one because so you're sacrificing something and the tower came in to heal something you are going to be connecting with good people in your life and positive situations are going to come in your life and this is going to be very good a lot of you whatever you're sacrificing 
you are going to be sacrificing letting go something and you're going to see positive people just ask the universe to send you honest and positive good people especially at your work you're going to be connecting with them at your work the fourth week we have the energy of the transformation transformation is taking place because you have a victorious win and with that victorious win you are changing and moving in a new direction this win is bringing you a lot of wonderful wonderful new doors of opportunities that are going to be opening to you new parts that you can walk and new things that will be happening to you and this is going to be of a positive one so whatever that has transpired in your life whatever that uh, you have been going through you are going to be victorious in the fourth week as we move forward we have the energy vibration of patience in the fourth week the fifth week patience that is an earth sign and this is good because the son of Pentacles is bringing you information about money coming to you there's a lot of jealousy that is going on a lot of jealousy at your work but do not you know rest on that do not look on that just look away from that and try to make um, good um, connection in your life and good things happening in your life so the fourth week um, this month is really a month of bringing balance and cleansing in your life you are going to about to meet new people connect with new people this is going to be extremely good the power of your week is a cleansing but and with that cleansing you're going to remove people who no longer serve you at your work you're going to have a good connection good people but yet still be careful because there's a little jealousy um, and it can be jealousy over if you're making more than someone else if there's going to be promotion so um, be aware of these jealousy but good news is on its way to you okay whatever you the cross you were bearing whatever you have been going um, through your entire life help is on its way okay help is on its way so whatever that you're looking for the help that you were looking for that help is on its way and it's going to be very good okay um positive news is coming from a good friend very very positive news is coming from a good friend and this is going to be good with that news there is going to be a change and you are going to be faced to making a decision um, whatever the decision is you're going to be faced in making that decision and it's going to be whatever you decision you decide to make it's 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 going to be um, um, good you're going to make the right decision okay there's also going to be um, um, difficult choices and problems with making this decision there you know um, sometimes we we don't make decisions because it's it's a difficult choice to make you have to you know they have a saying that you have to choose between the devil and the deep blue sea so <laughs> no one wants to choose either one of them and this is what is playing out at the moment for you guys but yet still it's a good month number 10 energy of 10 is here 18 which is 9 the 7 be careful because there's a lot of jealousy about money as there's a lot of jealousy in the fourth week about money um the number your number is going to be a new start a new beginning good news is coming in in the second week good news there's a lot of jealousy in the fourth week be careful especially at your work but you have and connect with good friends good people honest people at your work and this is this is really good this is this is okay but it's a month of, of transformation and cleansing let's see what else is here victim do not play the victim 
and do not have any guilt victim um, and guilt insecurity a lot of you have insecurity release yourself from insecurity call upon your angels and guides and ask them to release yourself of the insecurity open your heart to love connect with people okay because there's a lot of insecurity do not play the victim victimhood call upon the angels and ask them to release you of you feeling as a victim um, and the guides that you know call upon the angels um, to ask you to release you from this victim victimized of feelings and this guilt feelings okay and stop being impatient just wait everything comes in divine time and acts Archangel Michael and the angels to help you to just wait and stop being impatient but don't play a victim because you are not it is that you know sometimes we feel as if we're victimized but don't play in um, what you're feeling because sometimes that's not how it is it's, it look as if but you have gone through a certain situation to learn certain lessons let's see what the Sun sign people the Aries you're going to have connection with the Aries the Capricorn and Pluto Pluto seems to be coming up and having an effect on a lot of you let's see what's here for the yeah there's love for the people who were born in the night and you're going to be connecting with your spirit guides and the scorpions this is good okay so for the Sun people the people who were born in the day and again I want to say happy Thanksgiving to the people who celebrate Thanksgiving for the people who are born in the day you are going to deal with the Aries and the Capricorn the Aries people and the Capricorn people and Pluto so they are going to come in your life and to help you to deal with the energies of Pluto the Aries and the Capricorn because the Aries and the Capricorns are two of the most hard-working people if you have these people working for you they're the best people to work for you Aries and Capricorns because they are trustworthy loyal to people and whenever they they are hard-working people okay you will never have a problem with Aries and the, and and the Capricorn whenever they are in balance because sometimes people are in out of balance for the people who are born in the night you have to deal with um, the scorpions and the scorpions is bringing love to you so this is going to be good you're going to be connected with the scorpions the scorpions are going to teach you how to manifest certain things in your life and they're going to bring the energy of Venus the planet of Venus is the love planet so you're going to connect with a scorpion person this could be a scorpion person that is coming back in your life and this is going to be good because the scorpion person is going to help you to see your enemies and hope of your highest things that you weren't aware of so this is going to be good for you um, 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 you um, um, Sagittarius people to connect with so someone who is a scorpion who's going to come in your life and connect with you and um, let you be aware of certain things and certain aspects you have the energy of accepting to control other attract more to be controlled okay so if you want to control someone else think about it it is easy to understand how you would come to a conclusion that your part to feel good is through influence or controlling the behavior of others but as you attempt to control them through the influence of uh, the correct way you discover that not only can you not contain them but your intention to bring them more like themselves into your experience you simply cannot get away or where you want by controlling and attempting to controlling others and the universal energies element that unwanted evidence so here again you need to release the controlling things places and other people as you release that control you will realize that things will flow and go much smoother in your life 
ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you for being here thank you for your likes and share please remember to listen to this readings go back and listen to these readings every week with the weekly reading to know what to expect in the weeks I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and uh, I want to say to each and every person we are all here on a journey and whatever experience we need to experience they're going to come to us but in the sense have positive and I am sending you pure love and light namaste until next week